Aishino Aidi was an activist with the International Solidarity Movement. She was in the village of Beta with others to protect Palestinian farmers from Israeli settlers on Friday. The shooting happened in the early afternoon after prayers. When we arrived there, uh, outside the garden, there was already Israeli army. Uh, when we left the garden, um, uh, after prayer, there was Israeli soldier position on the road. We've been told by witnesses that the IDF first fired tear gas and then there were live shots as the activists were retreating into an olive grove. The army was about 200 metres away from us up the road, but they had placed snipers on the roof of the adjacent building to where we'd come from. I heard a fellow volunteer shouting for help and turned to see Aisha lying on the ground. Aishino was shot in the head. Her colleagues tried to help her. She was put into an ambulance, but couldn't be saved. The 26-year-old was pronounced dead at hospital. The condition was critical. We tried to save the American citizen. We tried to revive her heartbeat several times, but unfortunately, we did not succeed in getting her heart to function again. The Israeli military said its soldiers opened fire towards people throwing rocks and that the incident is under review. The United States has asked Israeli authorities to investigate immediately. My deepest condolences, the deepest condolences of the United States government to the family of Aishnor Ezgi Yaga. Um, we deplore this tragic loss. Now, the most important thing to do is to gather the facts, and that's exactly what we're in the process of doing. Today, the IDF pulled out of Janine after a 10-day raid of the northern West Bank town. The Israeli military says it uncovered weapons and explosives during its operations there. It has been a violent week. 40 people have now been killed and more than 145 reportedly injured over just the last seven days in the West Bank. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News in Jerusalem.